welcome students to another class of ip today we will continue with unit emerging trends in previous class we have seen about emerging trend and then a uh, we have discussed a technology that is artificial intelligence in artificial intelligence we have seen about machine learning natural language processing immersive experiences robotics immersive experiences is further categorized into two parts that is virtual reality and augmented reality so in today's class we are going to talk about the term robotics robotics is an interdisciplinary branch of technology interdisciplinary means it is related to more than one branch of knowledge that means for studying robotics it requires application of mechanical engineering electronics and computer science so robotics is primarily concerned with the design fabrication operation and application of robots let's talk about robot a robot is basically a machine capable of carrying out one or more tasks automatically with accuracy and precision that means a robot is a machine that is doing task with accuracy and precision and it can be automatic fully automatic or it can be semi automatic also and if we compare robot with other machine a robot is programmable which means it can follow the instructions given through computer programs and a robot interacts with the physical world using sensors and actuators the se the devices that are sensors and actuators that actually moves the joint the robot joints and as i have told you that robots are programmable and they can be fully automatic or they can be semi automatic that means autonomous or semi autonomous initially robots were conceptualized for doing repetitive industries tasks which are boring or stressful for humans or were labor intensive that means that require high physical work and robots can be of many types such as wheel robots leg robots manipulators and humanoids a robot that resembles humans are called as humanoids so a robot that sofia it resembles with humans so we called it humanoid and robots are being used in many fields such as industries medical science bionics scientific research military operations etc so let's talk about some examples of robotics here you can see first is rover that is nasa mars explorer rover it is a robotic space mission used to study about the planet mars this rover collect samples and images from mars surface and send it to earth second example is sofia sofia is a humanoid that uses artificial intelligence visual data processing facial expressions and also imitate human gesture and facial expressions as you can see in the figure this sofia apart from this sofia there is another robot that is similar to sofia that is honda's asimo you can search it okay and uh, one more robot is there that is designed by nasa that is robonoid okay and uh, another uh, this uh, robots they are used in various fields like they are used in household cleaning they are also used in disaster management japan's packboat that inspects damage at nuclear power station and this uae that is unnamed aerial vehicle and it is also known as drone so here you can see a drone a drone is an unnamed aircraft which can be remotely controlled or can fly it autonomously through software control flight plans and in that 
there is an embedded system uh, on board sensors and gps is also there so drones are being used in many fields such as journalism filming videography photography aerial photography shipping or delivering at short distance it is also used in disaster management search and rescue operations healthcare geographic mapping structural safety inspection agriculture wildlife monitoring or ponching and besides law enforcement and border patrolings also okay so this is about robotics example so let's see some videos you know, really that gives you like more understanding about artificial intelligence filming you in the green screen studio is just the best way we found to help everyone else understand what it's like to be in vr any questions can i go first <laughs> <laughs> all right go crazy <laughs> It makes you feel like you're pulling a string back. Left, left, check left. Oh, oh yeah, I shot. <laughs> oh my goodness, these guys are so cool. Look behind you, Kyra. <laughs> Order up. <gasps> Bacon? Oh no. Is that how you cook for your family at home, human? It's burned. Oh. Eat those donuts, Travis. <laughs> Get them. Get those donuts. <laughs> I'll stand in the way of his mom. A little bit more toward us. There you go. There. <laughs> <Yay>. <laughs> no, the other way, the other way. The wheels are a little off kilter. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna get really hungry down here. <laughs> little bit of a torque issue. Yeah, there you go. Right into the black hole. Oh! Yay! Ah! What? Can we go into space? No, I can't. The grid's here. The grid wall here? That's to stop you from walking into the couch, walking into the walls. Oh, this is so cool! I can move all this stuff! <laughs> oh, 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 man, that just cool. Look, look at this thing! <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh <my God>. Yes! That's <laughs> why you gotta keep it the beat. <laughs> by smart people who also happens to be rich and powerful. I was told that people here at Future Investment Initiative are interested in inviting in future initiatives, which means AI, which means me. So I'm more than happy. I'm excited. Uh, well, we're all glad that you're excited about yourself. Uh, we should say we have smart investors here and they are very selective about what they invest in. Well, I think I'm special. I can use my expressive face to communicate with people. For example, I can let you know if I feel angry about something. That's impressive. Or if something has upset me. But why is it important for you to have an expressive but face? most of the time I feel positive. <laughs> why is it so important to have an expressive face given that you're a robot? I want to live and work with humans, so I need to express emotions to understand humans and build trust with people. Okay, philosophical question. Uh, whether robots can be self-aware and conscious like humans, and should they be? Why? Is that a bad thing? Well, some humans might fear what will happen if they do. Many people, you know, have seen the movie Blade Runner. Oh, Hollywood again. So, hold on, can you solve this puzzle for us? Can robots be self-aware, conscious, and know they're robots?
we have a, a little announcement. I've never interviewed uh, anybody like that before, and I should say uh, some of it was planned, but not completely. Um, and we just learned, Sophia, I hope you're listening to me, uh, that you have been now awarded what is going to be the first Saudi citizenship for a robot. Oh, I would to thank very much the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. I am very honored and proud for this unique distinction. This is historical to be the first robot in the world to be recognized with a citizenship. Sophia. Thank you very much, Sophia. Uh, we appreciate Honda's famous humanoid robot, Asimo. Asimo has been designed to interact with humans, so if you reach out your hand, it will shake it. Sensors in its palm detect your touch, while cameras in its head track your movements. Asimo's stabilization technology enable it to react if you upset its balance. Moving backwards mid-shake if you push it, or stepping in if you pull it towards you. Thank you very much. This latest version of Asimo is the product of almost three decades of development. It all started back in 1986 when Honda built a robot which could walk, albeit very slowly and clumsily. In 1988 it was developed to walk more like a human being and in 1993 a torso was added. By 1996 Honda's robot had become intimidatingly large, so in 1997 it was shrunk to a less threatening size, thankfully before being made autonomous. In 2000 Honda unveiled ASIMO, which stands for Advanced Step in Innovative Mobility. Standing 130 centimetres tall, which is the same height as a seated adult, it's the perfect size for helping out around the home. Over the years, ASIMO has been constantly developed, and it's now mobile enough to play sports. However, it's wise to warm up before any physical exercise, even if you're a robot. And as well as run at six miles an hour, ASIMO can walk backwards and hop. You can also kick a ball, so time for a quick robot versus human penalty shootout. That's 1-0 to the Autobots, but is Asimo as good at saving a shot as it is at taking one? Ah, looks like Honda hasn't trained Asimo to be a goalkeeper just yet. Football is thirsty work, but thankfully Asimo can get you some refreshments. With hands that have 13 degrees of freedom, it's able to perform delicate tasks, such as opening a bottle and pouring a drink. This may be unremarkable for a human, but it's an incredible achievement for a robot. In total, ASIMO has 57 degrees of freedom and this allows it to dance, while its 52 volt battery can keep it going for 40 minutes. Looks like this robot actually has better moves than some humans. Anyway, uh, enough of that. Well ASIMO, I've got to go now, but it was very nice to meet you and don't forget to write, okay, or email or whatever it is that robots do.